Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about maximum file size upload in .NET Nook. So here's what happened. Here's why this has triggered my interest again, because I have done a video way back then about that. Basically, I had to move a website a DNN website from an old server to a, a newer server to a better server with more memory, more, more everything. And one of the difference in the new server is that this was an IIS 7.5, which the old one was IIS 6. And in IIS 7, there is a new file size limit that was added somewhere that I'm going to cover in this video that was uh, conflicting with the file size that I wanted the website to have. So again, file size is, is a, is a, not a tricky, but, but it can be complex because there are many, there are three different places now that you have to configure in not only DNN, but also in I, in the web config as well. Oh, well, it's, it's part of DNN anyway. So there are three different places that now you have to change to be able to adjust maximum file size, maximum upload file size correctly in DNN. So let's get things started. I'm, here is a DNN 6. And in this environment, I'm running IIS 7.5. I'm going to log into the back end as super user. And here's what I have done right now. I have set up the site to allow a maximum file upload of 10 megabytes. To prove that I'm just going to go to this page called images. I'm going to enter the HTML editor and I'm going to try to upload a file here. So from here, I will try to insert media file. And then I'm going to click on upload. So I'm going to sell it. As, as you can see here, maximum file size allowed. It says 10 megabytes. This particular setting is the editor's maximum allowed file size, which you're going to check in a second. So I'm going to select the file here. I have set, I have put aside two files, one of 9.3 megabytes. I'm going to select this bitmap here just for the sake of testing. I'm going to click open. I'm going to click upload and the file was uploaded properly. So the file is right here. Now, let's see what will happen if we try to upload uh, 20 or a file that is over 10 megabytes. So let's click upload again, select a new file. I have a new file, which is 17.9 megabytes. I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna try to upload. See what will happen. So we are now getting this ugly message here from IIS saying that uh, basically what it's saying is that the file size has exceeded the allowed uh, maximum value right now. This error, this particular error, you will only be seeing that if you are running on IIS 7 or 7.5. As I mentioned at the beginning, there will be three different places that we have to change the maximum file size to make this work. Let's, so our goal right now will be to increase from 10 megabytes to 20 megabytes. And again, you can increase that as far as, as you want to go. I think there, there will be a limit somewhere, but again, you can go very, very far there. Uh, but but yeah, so let's let's now change the first place that we need to make the, to, we need to increase the, the file size. So we will have to open our web config which is located in the root folder of the website. I'm running this website locally. So I have Windows Explorer here and I have to open the web config. The web config is already open right here. And we have to find a setting called max allowed content length. So let's just click search, find and let's see if we find that. Okay, so it's right here. Now, here's the thing. 
you may not have this setting in your web config yet. So if you do not have that yet, you will have to add this tag to the system dot web server uh, node in the web config. So you have to add a secured node. I'm gonna I'm gonna add this this content this uh, setting in the video post. But but again, if you don't have the request limits node yet you will have to add that to your web config and this is very specific to IIS 7 and IIS 7.5 this is the new thing that was added to IIS 7 which which is carried on to IIS 7.5 as well so again you have if you don't have this node you have to add that and here is the max allowed content length this value is set in bytes so right now this is the this is equivalent of 10 megabytes if i want to increase that to 20 i just have to double that and yeah, the other thing that makes things even a little bit more complex is that some settings are in kilobytes some settings are in bytes so again you have to do some conversion here i did some uh a quick cheat uh, document here so i just want to double this because i want to go from 10 megabytes to 20 megabytes i'm just gonna copy this over to the new setting i have replaced and i'm gonna save that now let's go back to the site and see what will happen now i'm gonna just close this i'm gonna refresh everything here start again we have changed the web config i'm just the site is just restarting now now i'm gonna go back there to the editor edit content i'm gonna go to the in, insert media and i'm going to try again to upload that file once again this is the end of part one of the video on understanding maximum file size upload in dotnet nuke